okay. So recently, Tesla FSD has been improving and getting worse a lot at the same time. Uh, by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly why this is expected and normal. Okay, so first things first, let's be clear. In software engineering, it's not a smooth path of improvement. Typically, you're, when you're iterating fast, it's what I would call choppy AF, up, down, up, down, up, down, uh, but generally going up over time. Funnily enough, this matches Tesla stock <laughs> price movement over time. Euphoria, then panic and repeat. Um, I hope it's not euphoria and panic inside uh, the Tesla <laughs> pilot team. Um, so why is Tesla FSD improving fast and getting worse at the same time? Well... They are constantly changing the system, and right now they're going through an enormous migration. Um, I think they've hit a local maximum, many parts of the, I guess you would call it the V10 architecture. What this means is the current version is a mixture of many neural networks and hard-coded logic. The result of this is there'll be huge improvements, but there'll be a, a a massive amount of edge cases that make no sense at all. Uh, this is the main issue you have with hand-coded logic. Um, you can make specific scenarios almost perfect, but you cannot generalize. And this is what neural networks and humans are extremely well at doing. Um, okay, so V11 version 11 changes almost everything about the stack. They are switching from training neural networks on image outputs from the cameras to raw photons. This basically means increasing the amount the neural networks can see about the real world. Um, but I expect this has likely broken their entire training stack. And thus, the huge delays in improvement. I expect this has been planned for a very long time. They are effectively at the moment running two code bases at the same time. Old world v10, new world v11. Um, second, they are switching from taking the outputs from the neural networks um, and had ha hard coding this into a 3D model to move through the world to completely handing this over to the neural networks 100%. This will probably improve that process by God knows how much, 10,000x, 100,000x. Um, but it will likely be buggy as hell at the beginning um, as they're ironing out the kinks. I think once V11 is complete and working, we'll, we'll actually see even more regression in the overall performance of FSD. But you can't just look at the initial versions and make your judgment. You have to judge it over time. And I think a few months after that, we'll see a far, far superior version. Many of the strange edge cases, I think, will just completely disappear. It will kind of hoover up and gobble up a bunch of the problems and we won't see them again. So fear not if you're a Tesla investor, um, this is completely normal and a part of the process. Also, when you have a system already running on millions of cars, because bear in mind this code base is not just FSD beta, it's the, it's the autopilot system as well. And they obviously switch between them, but Ultimately, it's the same software stack and, you know, the same goes for the developer um, and build testing pipelines they probably have internally. These are likely huge code bases in their own right, and thus it's slow to make changes. Um, this is why they've been slowly moving towards this architecture. But going single stack, I think, is the right thing to do, but I don't think it will be smooth. So please be patient, whether you're a Tesla FSD uh, beta tester, user, or you're an investor. Um, what Tesla are building here has never been done before. To build a system that truly works in all scenarios, you need the right architecture. Everything about what they're doing here also is new. It's never been done before. It's never been run in production before. So from my perspective as an engineer of over 18 years now, um, this all makes complete sense. I expect by probably year end, we'll see a crazy improvement in Tesla FSD. But I doubt it will be done, aka done by then. Um, I think it will take another couple of years. So be patient. If you're an investor, take this opportunity to get as many shares as you can. Because once FSD truly goes online, um, I think the stock is going past the moon to Mars. Um, 
and to many other planets. So thank you for listening. Um, if you found this useful, please like it. Um, if you have any questions about neural networks or software in general or about FSD, uh, pop them in the comments below and I'll respond as soon as possible. 